Hello friends, welcome to my channel Study Master. Today we are going to prepare 6 questions regarding the Dairy Green Olympiad. So let us start. The first question is the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora CITES is an international agreement between governments. Flora and fauna refers to the plants and animals. An endangered species means that the species which are in danger or are about to get extinct is an international agreement between governments. Its aim is to ensure that international trade in specimens of wild animals and plants does not threaten their survival. The CITES trade treaty has been helpful in protecting endangered animals and plants by listing all species that can be hunted, traded, and used commercially. Option B. Listing those species and products whose tra international trade is controlled. Option C. Funding projects for breeding endangered plants and animals. Option D. Preventing the hunting of whales and dolphins. The correct option is Option B. Listing those species and products whose international trade is controlled. Coming up to our next question is question number two. The greenhouse effect is a phenomenon wherein heat from the earth is radiated outwards and is absorbed by the atmosphere. This process prevents heat from disappearing into the space and keeps the earth warm enough to sustain life. Which of the following are greenhouse gases? Option A. Carbon dioxide, chlorofluorocarbons, hydrogen. Option B. Carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, nitrogen. Option C. Carbon dioxide, methane, water vapor. Option D. Methane, nitrogen, nitrous oxide. The correct option is option C. That is carbon dioxide, methane and a very small amount of water vapor present in the atmosphere. The next question is recycling 1 kilogram of aluminium. Recycling means using one product again that is to reuse the same product. Can we save up to 8 kilograms of bauxite, 4 kilograms of chemical products and 14 kilowatt hours of electricity of the following which is the one that is recyclable option a glass option b paper option c plastic option d all of the above the correct option is option d all of the above coming to the next question question number four on 21st march and 23rd september direct sun rays falls on the equator Equator is a zero degree latitude that divides the earth into northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere. There are two types of imaginary lines, latitudes and longitudes. Latitudes are the lines which are through this way and longitudes are the longer lines which are like this. At this position, when the sun is in a straight position and the direct rays of the suns fall on the equator. Neither of the poles, poles means north pole and south pole, there are two poles of the earth, is tilted towards the sun. This, the sentence means that there are two poles, north pole and south pole, where there is six months of sunrise and six months of sunset. When one pole, that is when the earth is tilted towards the earth in one direction, Taking up a condition like if the north pole is tilted towards the sun. At that moment of time the north pole shall be having sunrise for 6 months. And at the same time the south pole shall be having your sunset. And vice versa happens when the south pole is tilted towards the sun. But on 21st of March and 23rd of September. These are two days in a year in which neither of the poles is tilted towards the sun. And each 
of the portion of the earth gets equal sunlight of the sun so the whole of earth experiences equal days and equal nights what is this phenomenon known as option a equinox option b winter solstice option c summer solstice option d circle of illumination the correct option is option a equinox coming to the next question question number 5 of the several biological processes composting composting is a process in a biological uh, process in which a pit is dug into the soil and the, whatever the kitchen wastes are produced for example kitchen waste like uh, fruit peels dry leaves could also be there is all put into a pit for at least one week and when this hole is the pit gets uh, filled up with this all type of waste that is a biodegradable waste which could be used by the soil and is easily decomposed uh one more thing could be done in a composting that some organism such as earthworm which is also referred to as the friend of a farmer are added in that compost but at the same time it is all the ca- taken care that if earthworm such as these organisms are added into the compost no material such as oily food or the salty food should not be added to that because addition of salt and oily food leads to the leads to the formation of many types of bacteria which could be harmful it is in fact also nature's own way of biodegradable waste and turning it into valuable organic fertilizer so through the process of composting the nature makes its own organic fertilizer and is a biodegradable process there are two types of processes non biodegradable and biodegradable biodegradable is the process in which the waste is used by the or is uh, is converted into valuable organic material by the Uh, nature itself but in non biodegradable process the things such as plastics human waste or human waste such as the plastics polythenes etc are included of the following statements take the appropriate one composting is a form of recycling recently only we studied that what is recycling there are mainly three r's reuse recycle and reduce option b composting leads to a lot of waste generation option c composting is a very expensive and unaffordable process option d composting leads to the generation of highly toxic waste the correct option is option a composting is a form of recycling in which the waste products are used again by the nature itself coming to the next question question number 6 and the last question three classes of microbes are used for composting today we are getting questions related to something like composting or so three r's or related to the nature the first is the three classes of microbes are used for composting number 1 physoclopides number 2 mesophiles and number 3 thermophiles which class of microbes is active at a low temperature now they are asking us in this question that there are three types of microbes present and are used for composting they are physoclopiles mesophiles and thermophiles now out of these three which one of the microbes is used at a very low temperature or are active at low temperature option a physoclopiles option d b mesophiles option c thermophiles option d hydrophiles the correct option is option a that is physoclopiles thank you for watching the video hope you like it and do not forget to subscribe my channel for the latest updates thank you once again